<laughs> no offense. <laughs> ready to yeah, ready to play. Ready for practice. What would you say to the disgruntled fans out there that aren't going to come to the arena because of the lockout to try and get them back into the NBA? Uh, what would I say to the fans? What would you say to try to get them to come, come back? back. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they're the, they're the uh, foundation that makes this thing go. So um, the game is for the fans. To play because of them. So um, I think if they know that and they, they know where our heads at in this game, I think that uh, you know, they'll respect to be able to come back. So. How much center are you going to play this year? I'm not exactly sure. I talked to Rick about it, and uh, you know, he mentioned that I'll probably be interchangeable between the four and the five. So I'm, I'm expecting to play uh, some five, but uh, as of how, uh, in regards to how much, I'm not exactly sure. The advanced stats actually show that you're better at the five than the four. Well, there you go. Maybe I'll be playing more five. You get on the all-star ballot as a center, you're a shoe-in, too. Hey, because, yeah. There you go. Are you excited for Rick? I am. I'm very excited for Rick. Uh, you know, he's the eighth winningest coach of, of all time. He's a guy that can win. I mentioned all the time today that uh, you know, any system, he's had a, you know, a group of superstars and, and you know, very, very high upper echelon, high caliber players uh, with Sacramento all the way to a team where he, he lost the superstars in Houston and T-Mac and, and uh, Yao and took them to, to seven games in 2008, 2009 against the Lakers, who eventually ended up winning the championship. So it just shows you that he can win with any group of guys. And I think uh, they'll be looking at this as another challenge for him because we're so young. So, with the uh, new Svelte physique, uh, have any of your teammates given you nickname like K Slim or Slim Love <laughs> or anything like that? No, no, nothing, nothing like that yet. But uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, as the week progresses, as training camp progresses, they'll probably give me a little bit of. Uh, did you guys play volleyball this year? Yeah, definitely, definitely volleyball. So that was a short-lived career, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> you did all right. You didn't get killed in the games that no, you played. No, no, I so. mean it was it was fun. I mean it's you know you just have to have some of the same intangibles that cross over from basketball. So I had the height. I was you know, able to jump a little bit. Had the length. and was able to move and you know anticipate where the ball was going to go. So. Um, that'll be my last volleyball question. I'll <laughs> as, as one of the uh, vets on the team now, even though you're still really young, how do you bring the young guys in the fold? Seeing last year uh, in, in the, uh, the season ticket holder event where you guys in the game show and everything, you guys had just really good rapport busting on each other all the time. So how do you guys bring Well, I think it's good because we're essentially all peers. So we'll be able to, to learn from each other and, and talk to each other about our experiences because um, – I mean, it's all relative, even though the season is, is so condensed in the 66 games and 130 some odd days, we're still going to be able to talk to, to Ricky and Derek and Malcolm and, you know, the second year guys about our experiences when we were young rookies. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll just have to learn quickly from, from their mistakes, um, especially Ricky. I mean, he's going to have the ball in his hands as he make early mistakes, but um, you know, he'll be able to grow from those. He's a smart kid. Same thing with Derek. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to uh, – to grow with these guys, and um, you know, this is all we have, this, this, this unit. So we're in this foxhole together, and we just have to climb our way out and hopefully turn that turn that corner and, and make big things happen. So. How pleased are you with all the offseason moves that you have in additions and Ricky finally coming over? Yeah, I mean, I'm very pleased, very pleased. Uh, we still have a, a, a young group, but um, with the coaching staff that we have uh, and, and the players and the, and the caliber of players, rather, the, that we have, we feel like we can, we can definitely uh, win with this group and, and win now. Did you notice how the old schedule didn't have you guys on national TV? Now, you now guys we are have like six games. Yeah. Yeah. So. Does that make you guys all feel good about it? Oh, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, we, we definitely want to be one of those teams. And, and that's going to only up our level of play. It's being on national television because you know, we know um, uh, the fans are watching and we know that we're going to have to go out there and, and put on the show because nobody wants to get bar embarrassed in front of the whole country. <laughs> Do you think the shortened training camp and the compressed season, are you on the side that that helps or hurts with you know, having a young, athletic team? Yeah, it's, it's a little bittersweet. It's a little bit of both. Uh, I say that because uh, on, on, on one hand, we need all the time on the floor together that we could possibly have. And uh, you know, the, the more that we're able to, to make mistakes and, and the more practice time we're able to have, the, the, the quicker we're going to grow. But with the condensed schedule, we've been playing so many games where it's Know, six games in seven nights, eight games in 12 days, uh, four games in five nights, where we won't have much practice time. But on the other end, we'll have such fresh legs because we are so young. Um, our retention will be very high because we're learning so much uh, information. And, you know, with Rick, uh, you know, that's only going to be a uh, coach element. That's only going to be a, uh, you know, a, a helping factor, not a, a hindering factor. 
do you use Numbers Cologne, and have you gotten what kind of, what kind of feedback? <laughs> on, on I, I do not use uh, Numbers Cologne, but um, I used to spray it on myself before some of the games last year. But I'm gonna have to come out with a new line this year because it's a new, new squad. All right. Good. Yeah, I miss all your coats and Marshalls as well. I know, I know. We're supposed to get that thing going, but I don't know if it's uh, you know, too little, too late. But hopefully, we can get something done. On the community There's probably side. still still some cold weather left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just right, a little yeah. bit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> If uh, if the numbers right, would you sign an extension before the season starts? Um, you know, it just it's I mean, it just all comes down to sit down with you know, my people and see what's going to be right for me in my career. But yeah, sure. If, if they throw uh, the max at you. At <laughs> <laughs> one end, it's all about numbers. On the other end, it's not because you, know, you look at what we've done. Uh, you know, in this, in this uh, not only the off season but the last few years of putting a, a general group together that can. Um, you know, really take it to the next level. So we're hoping to see uh, you know big things out of this group, and you know we'll we'll have to see. I just I just I really don't know yet, and I, there really hasn't been any uh, with my team and the front office. There really hasn't, not that I know of, been any talk about it. So I'm just looking good to go out there and, and help the team get better, uh, you know, help help coach out and be a leader. For the you take a lot of pride in being the guy you're getting right now after being an all-star. I mean, Garnett really embraced this whole community and this team. Like that's that's your place now. Yes, I, I do. I feel like uh, you know, especially from a leadership standpoint, um, uh, you know, I might not be the guy that's shooting 20, 25 shots a game, but I'm affecting the game in so many other ways. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to, to being the leader and stepping up and doing whatever this team needs to for us to win. Because at the end of the day, the only stat that really matters is, is wins. With, uh, with your rebounding prowess, you've inspired a lot of kids to uh, really get good at rebounding. So what advice would you have for them on things to work on? Um, I mean, just more than anything, having a, I mean, you have to have a natural knack for the ball, but, uh, you know, just assuming that everything's a miss. And, uh, uh, I mean, looking at me, too, and, and, and relating to me, uh, you don't have to be the most athletic guy in the world or the, most, or the tallest or the, the lengthiest guy in the world because, uh, you know, 80% of rebounds are below the so uh, you just have to you know, use your spacing and uh, you know, just work as hard as you possibly can. For so, and, and, and on a, any given night, you know, a team's going to shoot you know, 50% on, on a good day. So you know, there's going to be a lot of misses in there. Um, you know, throughout, whether it's 48 minutes, 40 minutes, you know, high school games, 32 minutes, whatever it is. Um, you know, just uh, assume everything's a miss and, and you know, try to have that natural knack for the ball. Many say you're the most media savvy player in the I'm NBA. Lying. <laughs> Does that come naturally, or I mean, how did how did did you work at extending your brand into Twitter and radio and TV and um, commercials? I think when I was uh, when I was young, I used to stand in front of the mirror and ask myself questions, yeah. and answer them back to the yeah. mirror. Uh, my dad, um, you know, could always he was very articulate, could always speak well, so he told me to uh, um, you know how to talk to people, treat everybody like you want to be treated, just you know basics, and then also. Uh, it was just something that I consciously worked on year in and year out. So, and then uh, my one year at uh, UCLA, my, my major was communication. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite beach bar song? That's the last question. <laughs> <laughs> he just blew it. He just blew it. Um, Start uh, singing it. Favorite want. beach boy song? No, you don't want. You don't want that. <laughs> Phones might break. Uh, favorite beach boy song? I don't know. Uh, California girls. What's your uh, favorite? WWE tag team of all time. Oh man. Um, uh, who was it? Robin and Hogan. Okay. Or was it Diamond Dallas Page and, and, uh, and uh, yeah, it was yeah, Diamond yeah, Dallas Page yeah. and uh, and uh, Robin. No. That's who it was. It was the mailman. Yeah, you're yeah, right. You're right. right. The mailman. Yeah. Okay. Favorite. Who who's from out here that was a. Uh, uh, the midnight, uh, Shawn Michaels was here for a little while. Right. He went over there with Marty Janetti, but that was a while ago. Yeah. Road Warriors yeah, are from Road here. Yeah. Animal yeah. from. Yeah. Tugboat. Yeah. 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 Tugboat Typhoon. Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, yeah. that's the question. You know how provincial we are. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, uh, I'm just not on top of my game today. They asked me the, uh, you know, we have to do all the game off stuff. They asked me uh, you know, who the Ninja Turtles were. Yeah. All, they had to name all of them in right. 15 yeah. seconds, and I... I bet Beasley got it. I was pretty, yeah, I bet, yeah. <laughs> I was pretty upset about it, though, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, I, I love that show. <laughs> Shredder, Splinter, Donatello, Michelangelo. Now I you got it. Now I get it. Right. <laughs>
40-40 this year? Is that what we're going to see? That'll be tough. <laughs> We'll see. Last question. Got one more good one. You were really successful in pick and roll situations last year, but you guys didn't run pick and roll nearly as much as you could have. Do you think that that'll be upped a little bit this year? Yeah, I think so, especially with uh, you know integrating rookie uh, <laughs> rookie Ricky Ricky into our offense and uh, you know, he, his ability to pass the ball. I think that we're, we're definitely going to you know, run a lot of pick and rolls. And, out of the quarter offense as well, just making different reads. So it's definitely going to be an intricate part of, of what we're doing. Hopefully we can uh, we can have a lot of success with it. You've already been quoted as saying that he passes the shit out of the ball. Yes. That's flying around <laughs> the internet <laughs> already, just that so you know. That whole step. Yeah. Good. Great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Good luck this year.